welcome to my channel. This is Susan, Susan Diamond Banks. All right, so today we're going to be working on my second square of my Chuck Pinson um, Space for Reflection Diamond Art Club painting that is a 74 by 55 centimeter. So let's get started. So the first color Let's see, that I'm going to work on, we'll start right here, which is a upside down T. So let's see where that is on my number 38. I have two Harbor Freight containers for these. So number 38, make sure that's the right color. 38, yep. That's a green color. And get my pen out. Got you a little over to the side, so hopefully you'll be able to see. Just like I said, I'm a lefty. Alright, I've been trying to hold my pen a little differently too, so I don't like stand my thumb too much. So I'll be a little slow on the starting point here. So let's see, today's Thursday. Today was a work in the office day. And it was a busy day. I didn't feel like I got anything accomplished. I was just too busy running around putting out fires. So much that I'm behind and I'll have to play catch up tomorrow while I work from home and talk to myself. So I try not to do that too much at work. Uh, nothing crazy, I don't think, I can think of that's been going on. I'm just excited to get started on this one because this one's a gift and hopefully it won't take me too long to do, especially with rounds because rounds are faster than squares. So I'm just putting down the green ones on their symbol. Yep, and I see uh, my next. This is a project that has to get done, but my next project, which I'll be kidding up with you guys is my um well, I say that well yeah I can cut I can uh, kid it up um, I don't think you have to worry about the person who the gift is for will be seeing anything because I won't be showing the picture so I can do the kidding up at least with you all right looks like that's all of that color so the next one we'll do Yes, let's see here. Looks like there's a lot of the tree color, so I might do the tree color. So I'm going to do the dash. And that is number, where is it at on here? 25. So let me get, yep, still in the same box, so I'm good. Part of the tree here. Hand on the pen right and let's start putting these down. So that's what I'll do, and then I'll record this one, I think, with you guys. So it just gives you a little bit of different things to look at. I also have a um, washi tape subscription box that I get. Uh, that's supposed to be coming soon, so I will record what July's box looks like. So you can see that. So it comes with different, uh, it's themed, so it comes with different themed washies and um, stickers and a postcard and a pen. And then um, I use the stickers in my planner, my dreams planner. If I get that, if I remember while I'm recording this one, after I get done with this part of the square, um, until I get you moved to see the other part of the square, uh, the picture of the planner. So, 
you guys can see that. And I gotta do some updates in the planner too because after uploading my first video and then putting it out on Facebook that hey, I got a YouTube channel, this is my video, y'all are watching, which I appreciate it, it's great. Um, I have four subscribers, so I'm excited. So thank y'all for subscribing to my channel and watching this with me, or watching me do this, or watching and listening, because, you know, I'm rambling. But I do appreciate it, so I thank y'all so much. Um, like I said, and for all y'all that are just watching and aren't subscribing yet, I still appreciate you guys watching. So I'm excited about that. I know that when a new channel comes out, and it'll be a little... Um, fast maybe coming out the gate of subscribers but I just hope y'all just stay with me in this craziness that I will be doing I got so many projects so I'm trying to see here that doesn't have I mean that has didn't have the clear cover over that so I can lay on those two and I think with the uh, changing the uh, pin grip a little bit it is helping with my hand from not to hurt as bad. I feel like that, and I know I already did this because I noticed that when I first started, and I kind of still do if I use a regular pink pen that comes with the canvas, that I grip pretty hard on that pen, and I'll grip hard enough to bend it, so... I feel like I overextended my thumb or I, cr I gripped too much and it hurts. So I notice now that with the changing of the grip, putting my middle finger on top of the pen as opposed to underneath it, holding my pen like I would with a pen, um, it feels a little better. So I have that going on. And I'm going to go ahead and say now, uh, it is Thursday night. Um, like I said, I worked at work today. There's thunderstorms going on right now, so you may or may not hear the thunder. It's kind of sunshiny, cloudy right now, so, but they're calling for thunderstorms all night. So while I'm out here, you may hear the thunder, so I just want to go ahead and let you know that. Oh, let's see here. What else? Um, still reading. Um... Took a little break from the um, Cozy Paranormal or the Paranormal Cozy Mystery uh, series. I've started book three though. I started, I started that lunch today. I uh, also started another book and then I found out that it's in the middle of a series. And I'm like, seriously? But it was, you know, it was advertised on um, Facebook. For a Kindle Unlimited, and I'd been seeing it, been seeing it, been seeing it. I was like, well, fine. Let me just click on it. So I clicked on it, and I was like, oh, yeah, standalone. That's what it says, standalone. Should have known better. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll read it. So it um, takes place in England uh, with a um, Scottish footballer. So that would be soccer, because that's what it is over there. It's not football like it is here. And a um, English girl who are like best friends. Um, he decides he's going to be her love coach. And you know, go on from there. So I'll, I'm like, I guess midway through it. I'm enjoying it. It's good. So I have that going on. Like I said, I started reading the third book of the Spellbound series today at lunch. Because, you know, they're quick, quick little reads. So I like it. Oh, got to get some more beads, more beads. Got done with our fourth episode of Stranger Things. Haven't watched the fifth one yet. Might do that this weekend. I don't know. Having to do some 
remodeling in the house. We had some mold moisture damage underneath the house and the near, underneath the kitchen. So Les went today to pick out some granite for the granite countertop. So we picked he picked it up the sample, brought it home. It looks really good. It's gonna be like a white with some black and gray and um, brown. It's gonna look really good. It's gonna match the cabinets and the floors really good, I think. And I liked it, so that's what we're gonna go with. So the guy that's helping us with that is the guy that actually built my she shed man cave. So he helped me create an office space so I could work from home. That's who this picture is for. He knows or he knows about it. He's the one that picked it out. I gave him uh, two options. Do you want a beach scene? Do you want a mountain scene? And then he uh, picked, he liked both of them. He picked this one. So we're going to go with the mountain scene. So he's actually doing the work underneath the kitchen and doing the, um, taking the floor up and fixing that for us. So that's who this picture is for. So I'm thankful. So we got a dehumidifier that's underneath the house now to help with the moisture situation. We already had a sub pump put in by Terminex to pump the water out from underneath the house. So we've had that since not too long after building the house. So I don't have to worry about that part. So that was taken care of yesterday. All right, the next color is, let's see here. Where is it at? It's that green, what I call the radiation sign. All right, that's in my first box. Started on that good, and I do with the uh, rounds just like I do the squares. If it's a lot, I'll do the step or the checkerboard method, just depends on what I'm where I'm at, what I'm doing. So I'll have that for that. And then I got let's see, I got a custom coming, it's not here yet, it's made it through customs, just waiting for it to get here, and then my Justice League one. And then I'm pretty sure that, like I told you, I got some projects I need to finish, so I might be doing that on, I don't know if I'll do that tomorrow night or Saturday, just to give you a little bit of change, because like I said, you know, my whole intention and goal with this channel, other than to do some, a little bit of educating for those who've never seen it before, is to to do a picture with you from beginning to end. I'm pretty sure I've said that before. But um so that would be from the kitting up to the working the canvas to the de kitting the canvas to framing the canvas to being done with the canvas. That's you know what I wanted to do. A lot of people um that you see on different channels will, you know, do an unboxing and then they'll, you know, show a little bit, and then they'll have it completed, and they'll show that to you, and then they'll, you know, show something else. And I always wanted to, I want to see, you know, the work all the way through. I want to, I want to see it all. I want to see all the, you know, craziness that goes on with the picture. And you, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you this now. There's no editing going on. Uh, and it's a process too for what I have to do to get these videos up. So I use an editing um, software or a website. It's free. I haven't paid for the premium, but I have to upload it the videos on YouTube. All right. So first, back up. Sorry, I'll get ahead of myself. I have to download it from my camera onto the computer to turn around to upload it to YouTube. 
and then after uploading it to YouTube, I then download it from YouTube because YouTube converts it in whatever format it converts it in. And then I put it in the website to um, put my beginning, you know, my Susan Diamond Paints video and then my thanks for watching video on the end. So the video that I created is in the middle. And so then I have to uh, download that, then turn around and upload it back on YouTube. That's the process. So I can tell you right now, I'm not going to edit my videos because that's too much work. And I just want to keep it real. I mean, you're going to get me rambling. You're going to get me, this is it. This is what you're going to get. And if I spill drills, you're going to see it. And if we have to pick them up, we're going to pick them up. So that's, I just want to keep it real that way. It's uh, true to form here. I, I'm not perfect, I'll tell you that much. And and I'll make mistakes on this thing. I've only been, you know, diamond paint for so long, but if we were perfect at it, it wouldn't be funny anymore. So, like I said, that's kind of what I wanted you to see. I may be boring yourself to tears, I don't know. And then I was sitting there thinking, I was like, yeah, still again, and there's only so much I can talk to you about. And, you know, I've got to figure that out too. So, questions, comments, lay them out there, people. I'll answer what I can. So, this has to be a much of the color because I knew it was the tree. It's so pretty. I just, y'all, yeah, I just. You'll see great. Look, I'm sure it looks great on the video. But you have to see this thing. And for me, it's in person. Down in our club, you've got to see in person. It's just, to me, it's amazing. The colors are amazing. It's just spot on. It still looks really good. I, like, I really like Diamond Art Club. And oh my goodness, they put the stuff out too now. It's like, y'all killing me. The Justice League in itself was what killed me. And I told y'all I got that big one. It's going to be coming. My husband's going to be like, mm, what is this? I know that's not that. I'll run and go put it up. Because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And like I said, that's going to be a project for next year. I ain't got time for that right now. Ain't no me be outside either. I just ain't got time for it. And if they start picking back up where they left off on these individual pictures. I'm like, no, no. I don't got room for them either. And then, um, Les wanted a picture. He goes, hey, I need you to do this picture. And I wanted them glow in the dark, but I want them all glow in the dark. I'm thinking, yeah, that's going to be a bit much because I got to find all the glows in the darks first. So we may have to narrow that down. It's a kiss, a kiss picture, of course. He has a kiss picture and a um, transformer, transformer, bumblebee, Camaro, um, half Camaro, half transformer picture that he has in his office game room. Then um, he has some other ones. That he has a winter scene. It's a red barn with snow. And he has a Halloween picture. And then uh, some other, I got some uh, beach ones. I think that's one of the ones I gotta find to finish. So I have a patriotic one that I need to finish. That I think, I know it's out here. I've got to de kit the Halloween picture. I didn't do that yet, so I gotta do that. So we'll do that together. We'll find something to talk about. Um, let's see. Ooh. Like I said, I think I have a beach scene that I've got to finish. And I still got to do the Christmas card with you. I may do that Saturday and film that quick. It won't take long, hope. Just like this won't take long. Because, you know, when I get done with this, I've got to move you.
further down so you can see. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oops. Come back here. Get right on there. Right. I need a sip of water, so just bear with me one second. I'm hoping that it's not raining when I leave tonight. It wasn't last night when I left. It was thundering though when I left. So I scooched myself across the yard. So I wouldn't get rained on. I scooched myself across the yard to come out here too. And got rained on a little bit. It wasn't pouring or anything. Which is good. So. That's the only thing. I'm a little bit off the house. So I'll be running across the yard. And I'll tell y'all what. It was hot today. Jeez. Oh. Now what is up with this? Coming to our cool weather. I told y'all it wasn't gonna last long. In July now. It's gonna be hot again. It's gonna be hot. So I'm glad when I work out here, I wear shorts and a t-shirt. Any kind of t-shirt I don't wanna wear. I wear a lot of rock, my rock t-shirts. Decide what I'm going to wear today. That's what I wear. And I don't wear them, of course. I have to wear my t-shirt approved shirts for work. So that's the ones that has the company name on it. And I have quite a few from um, Vince America, March of Dime ones. So I wear those. Alright, let's see. What's our next color? I'll stay in the form of the tree. Number 10. Got these pretty, they're pretty colors. It's like, has to be a um, Japanese maple, is what it looks like to me. That's what it looks like to me. Is that the number symbol? Yep, that's the number symbol to me. That would be a pound symbol. It could be the hashtag symbol. It depends on how old you are, what the symbol looks like. We'll keep it real. Some old school going on. I saw where um, some people went to the New Kids on the Block mixtape tour. I went to that last year. Was it last year or before last year? I'm just trying to think. I don't remember. It might have been before, before that. I have to look on my pictures and see. But yeah, that was a good concert. I enjoyed that. Les enjoyed it too. So, on that, you know, we go. We haven't been to a lot of concerts since COVID, but, oh boy, we went to a lot of concerts before. Now, I think it's what part of my problem is um, this year with my vacation time is trying to use my vacation time up. And so I've got um, four float holidays. So many days left. Seven, maybe. I don't know. I got a lot. And usually those days are eating up one-offs by concerts because you know it'll take the, the day off or the next day or half day or whatever because you know there's a concert we're going to and depending on what day the concert falls on would depend on what I take off so I don't we haven't done that this year we haven't gone to anything this year um I think it's just still a little leery on the whole, you know, COVID situation of well, being around a lot of people. And we, we haven't gone to movies this year. I think uh, last year when we went and saw Ghostbusters was the uh, first movie we'd seen since the pandemic. So, you know, just trying to be safe, I guess, keep it real here, but... That's something else we talked about, especially with the whole um, Motley Crue poison tour that's going on right now. And with the way the things are, uh, TikTok and YouTube and videos like that, and Les is on TikTok and he has his own um, gaming channel on YouTube, which I told him once I get all, everything figured out here, I'll link him his channel below, or he'll be one of my channels, you know. Um, he puts 
videos up on TikTok, so he's watching a lot of TikTok and it's um, concert footage of people, you know, of course, taking their phones to the concert. All right, the next one is the two dots. And then you hear um, Molly Crow and you hear it singing. It's like, wow. I'm glad that we saw them on the Motley Crew farewell tour. That's the tour where Tommy Lee uh, created a roller coaster with his drums and went upside down. That was a fantastic um, show. And everybody's getting older and you can't sing as well or as high or. Um, any of that. Oh, I guess that's all that one. Uh, so, you know, kind of gets to be expected. It, it may sound not up to par. And that's what it sounded like to me, and that's what we were like, wow. You know, we're kind of glad we've already seen them, because they didn't sound like that when we saw them, which is good. Um, I think I've only been to one concert that I really didn't like. Um, and they were opening for someone, and I can't remember who they were opening for. But let's see who the name of the band is, because I just went right out my head and kept going. I'll have to ask Les, and he'll tell me, he goes, this group. And I'm trying to sit here and think, who is that group that I didn't care for? I didn't, I know they were, they were vulgar to me. They had vulgar songs. I just, oops, just didn't like them. I don't need to spill these because I ain't got much of them. I got to order these. I had to order this color. I got to remind myself not to forget. Who is the name of that group? Mm-mm-mm. That'll -mm. come to me. I'm talking about something else. All right, I'm going to do this blue triangle. I find it. Where you at? Blue triangle right there. 27. Back to the other box. I do like the Harbor Freights. The only thing I don't like about Harbor Freights is to me, uh, sometimes they don't float as good. And that's a little scary because I'm afraid the it's going to pop up and spill all my beads. Oops, there we go. But I know you can get a good amount in there, so if that's What's good for the Diamond Art Club ones is to use that one because you get a good amount of beads in the box. And I got my spares over here in my um, baggies. That reminds me, I got to get my links off Amazon to put it in my description for the bags. For the next video, I got uploaded to go. I almost had the name of the band. Whoops. See him playing his dad. I can't tell you a song they sing because, like I said, I wouldn't care for him too much. But that's what well, that's their show, though. I mean, that's just who they are. They are very um, snark, snarky, um, make fun of the whole uh, hairband uh, error. I mean, that's just what they do. So that I wasn't really, you know, happy with those. And then one other. Um, concert and it wasn't so much that I didn't like the person I like the person you know fine but um one of the songs I didn't like so I didn't participate in stand up singing that one but everything else I did so but I'm not gonna say who that is either um because number one I don't know who's watching and I'm not going to get in that whole hee-haw thing of, you know, you went and saw this. How can you say you're this, you're that? And it's kind of like this. All right. So, we're going to break this out the gate. I am a uh, Christian. I am a religious person. Um, but I do uh, go to concerts. I uh, go to a lot of concerts, all different across the board. Um, like I said, uh Kiss fans, we are huge Kiss fans. I've seen a lot of Kiss, but I've seen a lot of other bands also, and I'm pretty sure that when I start mentioning bands that I've seen, I will race flags with people, and they're not gonna uh, appreciate or 
are gonna oh, turn my light pad off or they're going to judge me and I got no time place for that so I will tell you that right out of the gate I am not a false person what you see is what you get or in your case what you hear is what you get so um, we'll put that out there looking for my next symbol number T is 18 um, so I may do some things, see some things, and say some things that you may not agree with. I'll try not to be too um, harsh in the language thing, but, you know, people crap happens, and, you know, that's just where you are. But I prefer not to talk about politics on my channel. Um, short of just what I just told you just now about who I am. I don't know if I'll talk too much about religious things unless it's just something that I feel this important and I'll talk to you about, but I, there's just some things that I'm just not going to touch and I'm not going to discuss it. So, just letting you know that right out there. Uh, like I said, I'm just a pretty real person. You see what you get. Yeah, I'm a good listener, so if you want to vent and talk in your vent, fine. But I ask that you not on this channel in comments, period, talk about your political views, your religious views, um, how you feel about certain things going on. That's not what this channel is about. That's, that's why I just, I just want to be open about why there are things I'm going to discuss, why there's things I'm not going to discuss. I'll, you know, talk a little bit about stuff, but, yeah, that's about it. Okay, is that an hourglass? That's what it looks like. Yes, number 34. Because we don't need this to be a political, religious, argumentative channel. We can agree to disagree. That's what a friend of mine and I... Uh, do about things we agree to disagree and I'm okay with that everybody's different everybody's got different opinions everybody's got different beliefs you know just we're not going there take that up with somebody else okay all right so let me get that one in the hourglass I would think in our light discussion I was still think of a man I still can't think of him it will. So that's down that um thing, but like I said, we have seen a lot of concerts and a lot of bands. I have um pretty much I think I got my bucket list of bands I've seen. Can't really think of um well, I can think of one, but let's put one out. Well, I can, there's a crap ton I can think of, but let's put one to go to. But I, um, ABBA, I would love to have seen ABBA. Um, I, um, I'm a Sarah Brightman fan. I'd love to see her. Um, but you, now you're getting into like the classical opera thing, so you know, that's not that's just a cup of tea. You can't stand that on EGT the opera singers but for me it's just the young kids that get on there and you're like wow just the, the talent that they have for the for opera it's craziness um country singers I've pretty much seen my wheelhouse I've seen George Strait I uh, saw him in Atlanta with his country uh, tour where it had a crap ton of other country artists. <clears throat> Tim McGraw, I've seen Tim McGraw. Um, John Michael Montgomery. Saw him in Asheville. Kenny Chesney. Jason Aldean. Now, we've seen Jason Aldean. We've seen him twice. Uh, when he comes to the Bon Secours Wellness Center, that's where we've seen him. I guess I could say it's like, you know, I, don't, I would have loved to have seen Michael Jackson. Um, I, I regularly like to watch the This Is It um, tour or video right before he died. I see some hashtags that I missed. 
I'll fix it look in a minute. <clears throat> Let's go into the alphabet. So C, which is number seven. And do them. Got a few of those. Uh, Prince, I would have loved to see Prince. My sister saw Prince. Funny thing for her is she saw Prince when she was pregnant with my niece. And it was one of these things of she messaged me and said, Hey, if the doctor doesn't okay this, you're going to have my ticket and you're going to have to go to this concert. But the doctor okayed it, so she went and saw Prince, and I did. Uh, Elton John, I would like to see Elton John, but you know, during this whole COVID thing, pandemic afterwards, I just, mm. so I'm okay with uh, watching concerts on video or not even video anymore, but downloads, Apple, whoever's got it. And I saw that one, I think that's part of the sky. I can't really tell, I have to look at the picture, but that's what it looks like to me, or the blueness of the mountains, it might be, that's what it is. Okay, seven, eight, I did that already, and that's the two dots. Uh, let's see, the letter L. Letter L, where are you at? 31, that's in the second box. <clears throat> Anybody else? I mean, you know, less than I can say, oh yeah, we've seen them. Like I said, I've seen Kiss multiple times. I've seen Death Leopard, I've seen Journey. And actually, after I've seen Rob Zombie, we, we drove to Virginia Beach to see Rob Zombie. Um, yeah, so, you know, like I said, it's across the board of, of uh, what we like as far as music is concerned. And for me, reading it, read across the board what I like to read. Stephen King, favorite author. Um, I just, you know, I like it all. They're... There's a few that I don't want to read, but like I said, some of those, I mean, I can't read, I can listen to, so I do a, I can do a lot of documentaries I like to listen to. I'd rather have somebody read that out to me than me read that myself, so that's, that's okay. Okay. That's my next. I know I have one more. No, okay, got them all. So the next letter will be Y. So I'll get the Y's. Let's see here. Oops, let me get them all. Y is 14. It goes back to the first box. So I'm not going to drop too many out. Oh, so let me give you a, um, for you Starbucks fans, I can't drink their coffee anymore. <coughs> Any of their frappuccinos, um, hot coffee, I do the hot coffee in the wintertime. I can't drink them anymore. They, uh, my tummy... They'd have to be made without espresso, that's all I can say. My tummy can't take it. Oops. But, I will say, <clears throat> if you're a refreshers drink fan, and there's the strawberry refresher, the dragon, dragon drink, right now it's the Pineapple, let's see, pineapple passion fruit refresher and the pineapple um, drink. Paradise, paradise is what it's called, paradise drink. So the paradise is the pineapple refresher with coconut milk. 
that is delicious. And I wasn't sure I was going to like it because, excuse me, I got a yawn here, sorry. I am not a coconut person. Yep. But it's not bad in the uh, coconut milk. I only got three. Let's see if I can got three. Nope. Got close. Got four. And the strawberry fresher, I like it with lemonade. And that makes me pee a lot. I think it's the strawberry and lemonade just idea. I don't know. But yeah, oh, that's my kind of favorite. And it's really good, so you don't need to try it. 23, let's see here. What's next? The arrows. Arrows pointing that way. Number 12. Okay. That's a good little drink to try. That's about my limit for as far as star Starbucks is concerned. I would, I'll do the, I'll do a strawberry refresher with lemonade all year long. I don't care. That thing's good. I enjoy that. Did I drop that one? I was looking at something else. Let me pick that back up. So for the um, Aurora about shoot, I just about messed that up. Aurora Borealis Drills. AB Drills. From now on, it's going to be AB Drills. You ain't going to get that again. Um, I use my Pretty Placer. Now, I used that yesterday when I started this picture. It was last night. I was working on uploading um, videos to not record it. But it's like I'll work on this today and record it for you guys. So you can see it. Um, it was my first one. I'd never used the Pretty Placer before. Uh, a lot of people like the Pretty Placer um, to use as a as a pen ish. It's more like to me a crayon, but I'll pull it up here and, and let you see it in a minute because I gotta drink some water again. Sorry, but um, I used it a little bit to get my hand used to doing the strangeness on the pen and plus you know if you squish the crayon you're gonna break it so that I was trying to not do it so hard and I hold the pen so hard I hold the crayon so hard so look at this this is the um, radiation symbol ish it's more like dots but let me get my dryer sheet back in there it's just a box that has it in there I'm just leaving it in there uh, put it right there. So anyway, I have a glue dot in this pen. You don't use a glue dot on your AB drills because you can pull the special coating off. So when I have a special drill, or AB, sorry, AB drill, and when the picture, when we get to it, there's not one in this, this part right now, so you won't see it right now, we will uh, use that crayon. Let me finish this right here, number 10. Oops. I only needed three. Come on. Pull out all of them. Just need three. I might be, yeah, looks like there's more under there, so I'm going to put that right there. Alright, so I'm going to show you the pen crayon that I'm talking about. Right, so here's the box. This is what it says Pretty Placer. It looks like a crayon box. Pull it out and see. That is the scents. scent. Sex on the beach is the scent. And then that's what it looks like. It looks like a crayon. And it smells delicious. So I was using that yesterday while I was painting. You can kind of tell by looking at the tip um it's been nicely used it doesn't melt so i've had it had it out in the, the room i was in it didn't melt it so we're good there but um that's the pen crayon we're going to use when i have to do those 
um, 80 drills, but I just wanted to show you so you look at it, see, pretty placer. It's right there. Um, I lost my train of thought. Okay, so what I'm going to do, oh, I got to do that symbol right there. What am I thinking? Let me put these back up. I got to do the pluses. Whoa, I'm messed up. But y'all are screaming at me, hey, you're not done. You're not finished yet. You got some holes there. 28. Let me fill these in. And then I'll stop you. And that will be a video. And then I'll move the camera. And that will be a new video. Because I feel a feeling this is a long one. And the long ones take time to download. You can go more than 30 minutes. And it's going to be taking a little bit. I'm trying to stay ahead. I'm going to be ahead. There we go. Is that it right there? Okay. That's it right there. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back you off. So, we're going to change your point of view. And you're going to see the whole picture. And see what it looks like together. This is a nice, pretty tree. 28. Alright. Put that there. Alright. So, I'm going to stand up. So, I can back y'all up. Yeah. Almost 45 minutes. This video is 46 minutes long. Come on now. All right, here we go. Changing your view. That's really up close. And that's a little further away. And we'll get you about the center. So that's the center. Center view right there. So that's part of square number two. So I'm going to stop you here. Like I said, I rambled. I rambled for 45 minutes, almost an hour. And it's going to take a long time for this uh, video to upload. Plus, do all the other craziness that I got to do to it. So, all right. So, like I said, this this is the end. Um, again, thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all for your four people that have subscribed to me. I know who one of them is because we talked about it today. Um, that will be my husband, Les. He subscribed. So, you know, thank you, Les. Um, but the other three people, I don't know who you are because they won't let me see who you are. But that's okay. Uh, thank you uh, for subscribing to the channel. And, like I said, likes, comments, notification bell. That little end screen is going to tell you that. Um, and that's it for tonight. So, thank y'all. Peace out.